Hello, welcome back. This is actually coming from one of my subscribers and he says, please, how do you calculate delay feedback? I don't mean reverb, but that of delay. All right, we're going to get into this. His name is uh, Ogedi Bless. Actually, it's the same Ogedi. What you do is, let's go to inserts. Now, as you can see, I have edge delay and I have also set up double delay just for this uh, tutorial it's actually the same how you calculate uh delay the actual delay you mean this delay and not the pre-delay before i begin to explain let me also put up reverb because these are the things that we are going to to uh be talking about so let me just put up uh reverb a so i want you to notice this this is reverb this is delay the actual delay and this one is uh, the actual delay as well now one thing I love about this particular delay is that it also helps you to know the tempo of your song so this is edge delay from waves whenever you uh, pull it up it just uh, shows you the tempo of the song so this tempo of this song is 170 and then when you come to milliseconds right here it shows you the calculated reverb time or your calculated reverb time and most times uh reverb is starts uh sounding good on one quarter one or four so one or four is very much recommended so when you come to one quarter and you come to ms you will find your perfectly calculated uh delay time so this is your delay time when you come to ms let's say for example maybe you have uh, a different delay from this one it's the same what you do is just come to uh, ms milliseconds click on uh, on on the milliseconds click on the milliseconds until you see all these numbers and what you do is just take it to one or four or one quarter just like that so that's what you do so this is your delay time and this is your delay time and now when it comes to i know something that is confusing is calculating your reverb time and what about calculating the delay time reverb time and delay time is actually the same as you can see ms which is 0353 so how do, do you get how did they get this uh perfect delay time what you do is the same thing you just um uh calculate 60,000 you use 60,000 divide by uh the tempo of your song which is with mine it's 170 so this is going to be equal uh equals to uh 350 2.94 and so on now you uh, you have to uh round off this so when you when we round off this is going to be 353 as you can see when we come to uh this perfect uh uh delay calculated time it's 353 exactly what we have calculated so 60,000 divide by 170 the tempo of my song which is 170 yours might be uh 35 or 200 or 250 depends on the song that you that you have so with mine is 170 so 60,000 divide by 170 which is 352 we round off we get a one from this nine we bring it up to two two plus one is equals uh equals to uh three so 353 just like you can see when you come if you're using edge delay it's just gonna really show you exactly uh, your perfect uh delay time when you come to ms so this is where it is right now so 353 and you can actually now use the same delay time as your reverb time let's go ahead and type our reverb time in here which is a copy of our delay so you can actually use your delay time as your reverb time so let's go ahead and just uh, type in 3.53 and this is gonna be our reverb time calculated in milliseconds now to get your pre delay you just have to divide this 0353 divide by 2 and the number that you get is gonna be your pre delay over to your reverb time now that pre-delay too can be used as your uh actual delay especially when you wanna reduce let's say if one quarter is 
too much of delay it has too much delays you can actually come here and reduce it to maybe let's say you were on one quarter which is here and your uh, delay time is three zero uh, three fifty three now you want to get a shorter one if you want to get a shorter one just divide this number by two and then the number that you get you put it in there which is gonna be by two let's take it uh, here which is gonna be zero two three five well that's what you're gonna get let's say if you wanna uh, reduce it a little bit more you can still take it back and by taking back it means that you are uh, dividing it by two again the, the previous uh, delay time by two and by two what you get is gonna be zero two six five and so on it's just gonna keep on reducing and reducing and reducing till you get uh, that delay time that you want but I advise you to just set it up on one quarter the and that delay time you can also use it as your reverb uh, time now if you're using something like this then it's gonna be like uh like this if it's on one quarter then you're gonna take it to maybe this by one a little bit by one maybe by one by one by one and what what you're actually doing is dividing by two by two that's actually this is how you actually uh calculate your delay time so um it's not that difficult it's very simple uh, what's what most people find difficult is like is calculating reverb time which is also very very easy so i hope this video has helped you and if you have more questions uh feel free to uh write me at uh uh pro mixing and mastering pro mixing and production at gmail.com i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.